Hello, what's up guys, it's CS Page back with another video. Today, I wanted to talk about the new uh, event campaign thing going on and why this is something that I've really wanted a long time without it even being a campaign. But uh, what I really like about this, uh, the shards that you'll see here from Lich or Red Demons, uh, you know, it, you've all been playing Realm if you're watching this. So, um... Yeah, the new shards that are dropping, it's a great, great addition that I'm so happy they added. Um, with this campaign, uh, it's not quite how I envisioned a shard like this would be added, but um, I am, you know, it, it's a step in the right direction. So, essentially, with the shards, um, I was hoping that they were going to implement something more along the lines of where you get a bunch of shards... And then in the Nexus or something like this, which they could port this to Unity as an idea. They could grab a bunch of shards, port them to Unity, and then from there they have like a bar or something like that that shows up. And then for Oryx 3, it's not a just linear Oryx 1, Oryx 2, Oryx 3. Uh, you do a bunch of these shards that you get from completing quests in the realm, which was... Something I talked about in the video, I'll link below, um, and it'll be on the info card in the top right. Um, basically, there's a bunch of things that you collect, and in the Nexus, you put forth your shards, in this case, and then you, um, as a server, once the shard count gets high enough, you then go to the boss, which is um, Oryx 3. Adding something like this is a very good way that they could potentially have that Oryx 3 fight that I was talking about earlier. And um, I'll link a Romai uh, forum post to it below of the Oryx 3 boss fight, of which I like for the most part. I think there should be a little bit more diversity in what's needed to complete it. I feel like every class should be needed to complete it um, in some way, shape, or form. Like maybe having a trickster have to shoot a decoy into a pressure plate kind of thing, you know, Minecraft, you know, just have that kind of envision, but yeah, y you get the point. I think every class should be used in some uh, way, shape, or form for the Oryx 3 fight, but I'll link that uh, article if you want to read it. It's a really neat article, and he did a really great job when designing it. Okay, so I know I'm late, okay? I take full responsibility, you know. Uh, I'm extremely late on making a video about the new Oryx 2 fight, but I have to to address it. It is so great. This thing speaks volumes for DECA as well as for uh, where they want to take the game because this is something that needed to be addressed for a long time because I always felt whenever I was doing Oryx 2 that I felt Oryx 1 has one of the coolest uh, boss fights in the game and then Oryx 2 is literally just the same phase over and over slightly changed whenever he hits what was it, 15, or 20,000 health pre-patch, and now HP scaled, it changes, and, um, you know, we all knew that orcs needed to be a harder fight, and we knew it probably wouldn't take an excruciatingly long amount of time, and it's so awesome to see that Decca is actually willing to put the time in to make a change that has been widely requested, and more of a necessity than just a want, and it's just, it's just so awesome to see them actually finally doing it. So, with that being said, um, throughout the boss fight, I want to talk over what my... I, I don't get to show off all the phases during this fight, but I want to talk over some of my impressions. So, I'm pretty sure... I'm not actually positive, but um, I think that either his first or last star phase is not stunnable. I'm pretty sure it's the last one. I'm not positive, though, because I haven't done the fight enough yet because I was on break and I wasn't able to play computer because trashy internet and a trashy, com trashy computer do not combine for good Realm of the Mad God experience. Plus, I've been dying a ton recently. You can boop. There's all my graves. Yeah, real sad. I know. But, um, yeah. So, basically, um, Trickster <laughs> is a lot more valuable, which is cool. Um, not that I, I don't know, but I think that Orcs 2 always needed to be a fight where more classes were necessary than just ranges and knights, 
because it was either you have a knight that's good enough to stun, or all melees don't get damage. Now, there's phases where melees can get damaged, but they're hard, like this one on screen right now. The AoEs, like, I'm a trickster, and I easily could have gotten close enough for multiple phases just to do enough damage to... Uh, or like with a sword, I could have gotten close enough to do damage with the sword. It's very memorizable pattern, but still being bullet hellish enough at the same time, and has the ability to pop you really quickly, which I thought was really, really cool. Now, the Golem Prism is one that I found to be very, very situational, and this is one of those situations where I found it to be better than almost ever before. This perma slow phase for orcs is one of the coolest phases, because it puts everyone at a huge disadvantage except for tricksters got them and then these uh golem decoys not only do they just distract him for a long ass time they straight up daze him and make his attacks less um threatening for uh, a short time after he pops now right here you can see he chases her other way and he gets this guy i tried to come in and save him but he was a little too far gone too quickly and i felt bad but you know not my problem that you can't dodge, bud. Just kidding. But, yeah, this new trickster decoy, I actually think I saved this guy here. Hold up, do I? Or does he push it? No, he pushes him. Okay. But either way, the trickster finds himself a lot of uses for all of his prisms throughout this fight, and I thought that was really neat. I know that's not the main focal point of why this is so cool, but I think it speaks a lot more. I think I touched on this earlier, but... Like, Decca is actually paying attention, and Decca is listening a little bit better than they were over the past year or so. They started out really strong, uh, but hopefully this means they'll figure out more creative events. Hopefully something like the one I was talking about with the shards earlier, or so hopefully they can come up with something. But I really, really hope that they, um, you know, make these changes that the community really wants. And um, I really, really do hope that they continue this line of... Um, upgrades updates and vastly improving the game every time they do touch it so uh with that being said uh i thank you for watching this video it's just kind of a ramble i'm working on other more edited videos um soon but uh for now i need to move on i need to get this thing uploaded and i need to see you guys you know just do whatever you can like subscribe i don't care uh it would help but <laughs> I'm gonna get algorithm screwed uh, dude I'm so sorry for being inactive for all those who do enjoy my content but yeah uh, I will see you in the next video which will probably be this week and if it's not PM the crap out of me and I will upload one within a few days of your PMs alright thank you peace